Hey guys, Kurt Haas here from Hostile Commission, and today I'm with our good friends Matt and Pete from Audio Ottawa Physiotherapy Sports Clinic. I'm terrible with names, stuff like that. Anyway, what I want to do today is these guys have come in, they train here, they know our ways, and we're a little crazy. But what we're going to talk about today is some prehab stuff to keep our shoulders healthy, especially for us benchers and stuff. We run into a lot of rotator issues, a lot of shoulder issues, and it's definitely avoidable. One of the reasons I'm able to keep benching almost at 50 is I haven't had shoulder problems because I listen to it and I do my best to fix it. So today, what are we going to work on today, Pete? Today we'll work on some end range external rotations, we'll work on some uh, capsular stretches, and we'll work on some scap setting. So all the things important and all things that you've been taught to do in the bench press as well. So what are we trying to do here overall? We're really trying to line things up better and open things up? Exactly. What we're trying to do actually is we're trying to not compensate and keep the end range of external. So if that's all, all he has, that's all he has. He doesn't need to go all the way back. So we're looking at maximum contraction of that infraspinatus. Right in here is what we're trying exactly. to work with. So the one thing we've got to remember, right, with power lifters and the average Joe, is that a lot of the technical terms you guys use, we don't fucking know. So right. we need to learn that and, and take that science and bring it down to layman so that we can understand it overall. So that's why I wanted to talk. So we're specifically working in here, trying to reset things and slowly increase range of motion through there. Exactly. Not, not necessarily increase range of motion, but what I want is this, this muscle here, I want this muscle to contract to get the end range of external rotation. So basically, so that they come back online and do their job exactly. to control exactly. what's happening here. Exactly. So whatever range they have, they're going to contract at the end of their available range. Okay. So then eventually they're going to get stronger and stronger in new range that's going to create. So is it, it's not necessarily a mobility issue sometimes, but an imbalance in structure and weakness that that doesn't do its job, so it doesn't take care of it the way it's exactly. supposed to? Exactly, because they work yeah. as a pulley system, those yep. rotator cuffs. So awesome. All right, so what are we going to do? So what are we going to do is we're going to, first of all, we're going to check for compensation. So very often when you do trying to do external rotation, you have a tendency to extend through your T-spine to get that range. Look at that range. Yeah. Huge. But when you correct these compensations and you do the, the, the scap setting like it should be, a little bit up, a little bit in, so here, and then you ask them to do the end range, that's all he has. So I'm not looking for these. Right. So I'm looking for a gentle contraction, just that's it. So we're trying to make this these muscles basically be contracts. what contracts, what pulls it out. So exactly. again, it's not about how far we get, no. right? It's about isolation. As and getting right in there. And maximum contraction at end of available range. That. So, and then it's it, it's going to translate to the bench press after. So we would do this how many times? Once we're in there? These ones, uh, if you want to do it as a, as a warm-up, yep. you can do a, a set of 30 straight. 30 one hand? One hand, 30 the other okay, hand. Okay, and that's good enough? That's good enough. Okay, so we don't need to do it two or three times while we warm up. As we're warming up on the bench, would you do this before we even start pressing? Would you say, hey, this is part of my ritual before I even get on the bar or uh, in between sets? I would do this before pressing because if uh, I'm going from the rational of I want muscle contraction and muscle activation right. at end of our yeah. range, increasing the stability, I'll do it before. Okay. So be like let's say if you I'm saying 30 as a general number, if you do 10 and it's burning, you stop at 10. That's okay, good. good. So like there's no And I think for a lot of us that tend to be really tight there, all right, and, and this is dormant, we start doing 10, 12 reps and isolating properly, it's gonna catch fire. And that's enough. Right? And that's enough, switch that's left, right, exactly. and then do it once through and then do it every day, do it specifically on bench day, or would you do this every day as we're training? This one is, is not that high intensity, so I would do it every day. Beautiful. So just part of our normal warm-up and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Awesome, guys. Okay, that's a fantastic exercise.